Back on the Morning Brew for Monday, April 1st. I'm Larry Aarons, along with Aaron Muffaletto, our co-host. And uh, we have a special guest in this segment today. Gail Rubin is with us. She has a brand new show coming to UABQ TV, Channel 27. And it's called uh, A Good Goodbye. Uh, it also happens to be the name of your book, I yeah. see. Gail, yes. welcome to the Morning Brew. We're kind of colleagues here today <laughs> on... Uh, you public yes. and UABQ TV. Good to meet you. Good to meet the you. The doyen of death. That is I, yes. Wow, how do you do make dying and death a, a fun thing? <laughs> you said it, Erin. Well, you, know, you can bring humor to the topic of funeral planning if you plan ahead. Once somebody dies, you just have to get through it as best you can. But beforehand, you can have a conversation by bringing humor to the topic because people are a little hinky about the topic of death sure. and funerals. But by planning ahead and having a conversation, you can reduce stress at a time of grief, mm -hmm. you can minimize family conflict, you can save money, and you can create a meaningful, memorable good goodbye. So you're a funeral planner. I am a funeral planner. But you're planner, not a typical but funeral I'm, but planner. But I'm not a funeral <laughs> director. I didn't go to mortuary school. Yeah. I come yeah. from an event planning background and funerals being the party no one wants to plan, yeah. um, I realized when I first wanted to write this book, actually what I wanted to write was a book about life cycle events and call it Matchings, Hatchings, and Dispatchings. And I got, oh to, write, and I got to write a column in the Tribune by that name, and it was the columns on death and funerals that got the most reader response. So oh. it told me there's a real need to be able to have this conversation. Yeah. Uh, I've been to too many funerals so far this year, and, yeah. and I guess when you get to the middle part of your life, this starts happening. But actually, the, the funerals are, have been very uplifting. Mm -hmm. uh, the experiences have been actually n not unpleasant, and you end up seeing a lot of people that you don't normally <laughs> see. It becomes this big Reunion. social occasion. Yeah. And it's been, you walk away going, well, that was a great service, and I saw so-and-so and so-and-so, and, -so and it becomes a gathering point. I guess that's my, my uh, point of this. Yes, funerals right are all about gathered community. Right. Uh, it is a life cycle event, much like a wedding, where yes. people all come together, and you might see people you wouldn't see otherwise at a wedding as well. And music, food, uh, clergy, a location, yeah. c contacting all the family and friends. Weddings and funerals have very similar elements. Mm -hmm. Yet brides and grooms are planning their weddings, you know, months, even years ahead of time. But when it comes to a funeral, yes. if brides and grooms plan their weddings the way most people plan their funerals, they're scrambling to pull everything together in three to five days and, you know, talk about stress yes. on top of grief. Yeah. So, so really, Thinking about what you might want and having that conversation, maybe even going and pre-planning with a funeral home, is a really good idea. I myself have pre-planned along with my husband, uh -huh. but I think people are hesitant to do that because they think, well, I have to pay for it when I plan for it. It's an option. You don't have oh, okay. to do that. Oh. In fact, my husband and I did that. We put our plans on file. My husband does the laundry in our family, so he's going to have a wicker <laughs> basket casket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so you do just that. You help plan people's funeral in right. advance. Right. I will actually go with people. I'll meet with them ahead of time, find out what they're thinking about what they might want, and actually go with them to a funeral home as their you know, support team, and mm -hmm. then we'll go out to lunch afterwards and say, well, that was an interesting experience. <laughs> yeah, and check that off the list exactly. of to, your to-do list. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, but I also offer tools for helping people to pull together all of their contacts. Think about mm -hmm. it. When my father-in-law died, and he was a big influence on, uh, on this book, I had to pull out my list from my wedding to contact my husband's side wow. of the family. So think about it. All those contacts in your life, we used to have mom's dog-eared personal phone book in the kitchen drawer, sure. yeah. maybe. It's not so Most people anymore. don't have that anymore. It's yeah. in your cell phone. It's on your computer. I offer tools to help people put it together on paper and have it handy somewhere. Okay, so you're doing a TV show. Do we have a, yeah. a shot of the, the set? that uh, oh, we're going to put that up here. Awesome. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, the show is called uh, A Good Goodbye. How are you going to deal with this on TV? What are we, you going to do with it? Well, we have interviews with people in the funeral business, people from financial, uh, uh, estate planning, uh -huh. grief, 
pet loss. We cover all kinds of topics in these 30-minute interview programs. And uh, it's, it's it, uh, it, really eye-opening. It's in production now, and yeah. it'll be uh, soon on, on UABQ Channel 27. Yes. About 30 seconds left, but uh, your, your website is what now? Agoodgoodbye.com. Uh, and, and, and your book is on sale right now? The book is on sale. It's there. It's on Amazon. It's an e-book as well as print format.